Welcome to the Marketing Automation Show. I'm your host, Joey Keller. Thank you for all your feedback in the past and all your ideas regarding topics I should tackle here in the show. Please keep them sending in because they really help me to understand which part of Modic documentation still needs more coverage. I also got questions regarding what are the best sources for learning Modic. Well, first of all, check out my website, joeykeller.com. I collected over 70 videos, uh, which all deal with different questions regarding Modic. I'm also sending out a newsletter with different tri- tips and tricks, what you can learn from. You can also listen to the Modicast, which is a bi-weekly podcast about Modic and marketing automation. They always feature a great interview and news about the Modic community. I can highly recommend that. If you speak German, I especially recommend the German version for you. Um, if you are brand new to Modic, check out the official channel because they have a video series called the Modic Minute, which will teach you to use Modic step by step. Okay, so marketing automation is all about customization. So if it's done properly, then we can create a beautiful personalized experience for our contacts. And that we can do partially with dynamic contents. It's very easy to create one or two dynamic content blocks with Modic in emails or on the website, but it's really hard to scale it. And this is what today's show is about. Let's dive in. So dynamic content is a tricky thing. There has been multiple questions regarding Uh, how to create dynamic content in emails the most efficient way and of course there is the default way to do it when you just add the dynamic content into your email as a funnel but sometimes that just doesn't work for example there was a question in forums how do you create 30 plus categories for books and every day you need to update them all so you don't want to go in there into your email uh, one by one edit your uh, your your dynamic content blocks just that just insane and i also got some twitter messages about dynamic content and also got some emails that i should make a tutorial on that so this is why today's tutorial is all about dynamic content and especially about the twig plugin solution Okay, so let's start with the problem. What what are we talking about here? So let's say you have a newsletter with different blocks where uh, you try to recommend some movies to your to your clients, and you have multiple categories. So that's not the most efficient way to send out a newsletter, especially if you want to make a huge newsletter, because you can actually filter out the proper categories for each of your clients. So people who would be interested in comedies, they would just see the comedies and who would be interested in horror would see the horror and others who are interested in sci-fi would just see the sci-fi theoretically. So you can, if you want, you can send out three different newsletters with these three topics and hope that everybody gets the one they actually interested in. But what happens if someone is interested in multiple topics? So what if, you know, someone, okay, Um, is interested in comedy, but what if someone is interested in comedy and sci-fi or comedy and horror? So what do you do? Uh, In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, create dynamic content with the help of uh, the Twig plugin. And we're going to do it in three pretty easy steps. Okay, so first of all, we, we will create the proper custom fields for our uh, contacts so that they can save the information about uh, the movie genres they like. Then we're gonna create the dynamic HTML, which will be according to these genres. And then we will convert this HTML into the Twig twig, uh, language to make sure that the proper HTML is shown in each email for the proper contacts. Okay, let's build. Okay, so as of the first step, I set up three um, custom fields. It's a it's a boolean which I placed into the personal group, so it's yes or no. Uh, if someone subscribes, they can choose are they Sifi lovers or not. Uh, also, they can choose if they like horror movies or not and they can choose if they like comedies or not. Of course, I could have done also a multiple selection list, but I found this easier to integrate into the uh, preference center. So 
uh, I use the booleans. Uh, I also created a couple of uh, customers and I just for these test customers, test contacts, I just chose a combination. So Mr. Horror Lover loves horrors and sci-fis and I also have two more who like, who have different preferences. And this is the email template I created. So as you can see, it's created from blocks. So our goal would be to take this block out from here and show it to certain people or take this block out or the third block out. And luckily this template is made in such a way that we can do that. So if we don't display this block, nothing happens. The whole thing just shifts up. So if someone likes only comedies, they would see only this one block here and that's it. This is especially good if you have like 20 blocks because it's possible that you have, let's say it, it, with books it happens pretty often that you have 20 blocks and then uh, people would have to go through a huge list. But this way they just have to go through a very short list because you uh, aggregate their preferences together. So let's see now different ways how we can build it in into Modic. Let's create our email. Um, gonna add a new email. Yeah, it will be segment email. I'm gonna call this Twig Test Test uh, Movies. Okay, same internal name, and I will have a dynamic segment for them. Okay. And we're gonna go actually with the code mode. And the reason is because I already have this template. I didn't make it as a Maori compatible template. I think I won't do it for this for this uh, particular tutorial. You can do it if you want. Anyway, we're gonna have a new um, email builder soon where you don't need to do these changes anyway. So let's just go with the with the code template. And if you would like to have it more uh, drag and drop, then you can have a Maori template created for yourself. Okay, so let's copy our um, our uh, HTML. I have here. Okay, so it looks like this, and our dynamic content is here. So this is what we would like to show only to people who are interested in this. Now, the one way doing it is, of course, you can use the default Modic. Uh, dynamic content but I find this a lot easier to do if you use the tweak template plugin for this certain case because uh, then actually this one you can easily auto generate with PHP from your own application so in this case the code is here let's see uh, this is welcome to the content da -da -da. okay so we need to this is one block, this is second block, and the third block. So if I would remove this here, then we would have no blocks there. So this is the blocks what we have to work with. Yeah, this area, these are our three different uh, um, topics. And I'm gonna use a PHP code to auto-generate it from, from a blog, let's say, or any other content, doesn't matter and infuse the twig uh, blocks, which will make it uh, dynamic when it appears in an email. It's gonna make sense in just one second. Before we do the testing, I would like to add one more thing. So I created a small script which dynamically takes this content from a website or WordPress or whatever. The, the idea is that all this content is taken from the, from the page, from RSS or whatever you want. All the images can be taken also from RSS and generate the already Twig compatible code. So all you have to do is you have to pull out the information and then the code is generated. So you don't have to do anything else, just copy paste this code into the twig area and then your code is basically ready. So we're gonna use twig to uh, select content to be displayed and it's super easy. 
So you start with the curly brackets percentage and then you write if contact and then this is the alias of the certain field. So here you have movie sci-fi equals one because this is when boolean is a yes. And then this is this played. If you want to um, make multiple sections, then you just have to copy this and we would like to have here horror and this one would be sci-fi. Oops, like this. And this is corresponding, oops, yeah, this is corresponding with, with the freshly created fields. So our goal is to put the whole block in between, that block which should be displayed, including the inline CSS and the divs and everything. So essentially it's going to work like this. It's going to look like this. So I have here everything which is in that certain uh, uh, field. So this whole block here would be visible. Okay, so now our job is to cut this out, create, put our tweak content, the dynamic content in the middle, uh, put it in our email builder and put the dynamic content with the currently right uh, dynamic twigs into the twig plugin. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna use this twig plugin here. Uh, it's not for free. It comes with, uh, it doesn't come with Modic 3, but it's compatible with Modic 3. You can buy it at the MTC Extend web shop. Uh, I have no affiliation, not getting any, com any commission. I actually love this plugin, love to work with it for exactly that reason that it's super easy to create any kind of uh, dynamic content with it. So if you want, you can buy it and uh, do the same dynamic content like I do. There is many other ways to do dynamic content. I find this the most uh, flexible one. So I have already the skeleton. So this is where we're going to put our uh, three contents. So let me cut it out first from the, from the uh, HTML. Let's go. Um, let's check where is the first part. Welcome to a newsletter, blah, blah, blah. And this is our Groundhog Day here. So we're going to cut this out. Let's say until here. Let's do the whole thing. So this is going to be one. And our comedy section. Then we do the next one will be our uh, horror section. And we will do one more, which is our uh, sci-fi section, like this. I call it movie newsletter and we will save it as uncategorized. Once it's saved, we can refer to this with using tweak template equals um, code or better say it's not a code, it's a, it's a token in our email. So let's go back to our email, create a new email. We will call this movie test. Uh, the big movie newsletter. Okay, I'll segment the previously assigned dynamic segment and we're gonna use the code view. Okay, so let's go back to our uh, template and this template will be a lot smaller as I cut out the middle. So exactly the middle is missing this part. And we're gonna use the tweak template plugin for that to display stuff. Twig template equals two because I have the one which is another one. And it will dynamically uh, include here our tweak template, uh, which we just created before. So I'm gonna click apply and save it. And if everything goes fine, if I send out this newsletter, it will go to the my dynamic segment contacts, which we created before. The guy who loves the horror and sci-fi and the guy who loves everything. And then the third one who loves uh, only comedies. And they will, and we will get three different emails. So 
uh, let's test it out. I'm gonna save it. Make sure that, um, make sure that, oops. That all um, uh, settings are okay. And then we're gonna do some testing. Okay, let's send that newsletter. What we created, send, of course, we just have three people. This is going to be really fast. And now we're going to look into uh, how these emails actually look. So let's go back to our contacts. And if everything is good, we will see that this newsletter was sent. This is Mr. Horror. So if I look at the newsletter, I see that these two blocks are sent out to him which is actually what we want really cool okay let's look at someone else mr all movie should have three different um areas here you go all good and if we look at mr comedy he should see only the groundhog day which is the best comedy movie ever here you go That was really long. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, drop me a line at hello at joykeller.com or on the Mautic channel, or you can find me also in the Mautic forums. That's it for today's show. I'll see you two in two weeks. And until then, keep automating.